Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon again and today I want to talk a little bit about training frequency. But don't get your hopes up because this video is not going to go over the optimal amount of times to train per week. Now, whether that be once or twice or hell, for even some of you, it might be the best to train three times per week. We'll talk about that in another video. Now, if you really can't wait to hear that information, you can find my video on training frequency on my old channel, Campbell Fitness. That's a self-shameless plug for a channel that I don't use anymore, so I don't know how effective that will be. But I do have a video on training frequency there, and I will be doing a new video on this channel as well. I just wanted to address some pressing issues, I would say as one of the things that I notice is oftentimes, and I will say I'm guilty of this myself, we're watching other YouTubers out there and we're influenced easily by what we see, whether it be training routines, whether it be dieting, whether it be titles to videos, maybe it's equipment that they use and then we buy the same equipment and do unboxing videos about belts and things of that nature. But regardless of its subconscious or not, it definitely happens. Like I said, I'm guilty of it too, so don't feel bad about it. But one of the things I've been noticing, I think, is a lot of people have been seeing other channels talking about training more frequently. So most of us assume this is going from a once per week split to a twice per week split. And again, that's fine. I'm not going to get into the semantics here of it. With this, however, it's been, for me, dealing with an influx of questions regarding people making this transition and running into some issues, namely not knowing how to set up a proper routine in order to do this. So I think one of the problems here is, is that we're too stuck in the mindset of our traditional bodybuilding type splits, these once per week splits, where let's say, for example, you might train chest on Monday. And I know that's kind of a stretch, so use your imagination because we all know no one likes to train chest on Mondays. It just doesn't happen. But then maybe back Tuesdays, legs Wednesdays, shoulders Thursday, arms Friday. It's really been a long time since I've done one of those typical splits, but you know what I'm talking about here. So these people who are used to those kind of splits then look at training more frequently and say, all right, I have this same time frame as far as, let's say, Monday through Sunday, where I typically train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, take two days off the weekend, most cases, and then repeat. They have an issue taking that kind of mindset into training more frequently because they say, hey, I'm already training five days a week here. There's not much room to wiggle around. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. It doesn't sound like a good idea. Also, I might be potentially overtraining. So what they do is they turn to the traditional splits for more frequent routines. And typically these are push-pull, upper lowers, or maybe even full body splits. Some people like to do push-pull legs, and that's fine. All those routines are great. Now with this, however, what I'm gonna suggest you do is take your mind away from that mindset where we're just looking at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Don't look at it in terms of which days are which. And that might be a little confusing for you. So what I'm gonna do right now is flash on the screen a picture of a calendar where you see most calendars start with Sundays and end at the following Saturday. For some reason, we tend to wrap our minds around conforming to this idea where we like to do the same thing every Monday, the same thing every Tuesday. We get in a habit or in a routine. For training more frequently, what I'm gonna tell you is that this is kind of, I would say, detrimental to how we do things. So if you're really dead set on keeping your traditional type of routine where you're only hitting, let's say, one body part per day, you could still technically do a more frequent routine where you're hitting everything twice per week. But instead of, again, identifying a week by being on certain days, look at it in terms of numbers where you have day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six and day seven. So we're taking away the labels of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so forth, and instead putting a number on them. So when we look at training more frequently, what we wanna ensure is that whatever we train on day number one, we train again by at least day seven. So again, you could keep your old typical split if you really wanted to, although I'm not really sure that's gonna be as beneficial as some of the other ones we've already mentioned, but you could potentially do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as normal, and then either train again on Saturday, or let's say take Saturday off and then train again on Sunday. So you can really manipulate this. Or you can do a three on, one off kind of routine, whatever really you feel is beneficial. But when you look at it from a numbered standpoint, again, dealing with 
seven numbered days here, you can really manipulate things to create a lot of custom routines. So don't feel like you have to be pigeonholed into a certain type. However, some of those routines might be more beneficial for you and optimal, so to say, to get the gains you want. So as far as training more frequently goes, you have a ton of options. Don't think that you have to adhere to the typical ones that everybody else does. However, doing so might yield even better results in the long run. Your best bet is to play around with it a little bit, not only read and research what could potentially be best, but also put it to play and see if it's true for you. And in the long run, you'll be stress-free, happier, and hopefully seeing all kinds of gains. Hope that helps everybody. In the meantime, stay big.